In this video segment, I'll be providing a brief overview of the voice data recording system and then provide a demonstration of entry using voice recognition software uh, for fish biological measurements. So uh, there's only three pieces of software we have on a laptop or a tablet that we use for the voice data recording system. We have a Microsoft uh, Access Entry form right here. And then we have Dragon Naturally Speaking. And then in this machine, uh, we have um, a piece of software that comes with our label maker called Rhino uh, Connect. That's a utility we use to print labels that integrates with the voice data recording system. So I'll provide a brief overview of our data entry form and Dragon uh, naturally speaking, and we have an older version on this machine, 12, but it's very similar to the newer versions. And then I'll provide a demonstration. And then in subsequent videos, we'll show you how to create a profile, um, create and import commands, and some other um, examples of how to fix errors and other uh, tips. So let me first describe uh, our data entry form. And I created this in Access based on the way we collect data. So we have different cards that we use. That, um, and we're going to focus on card three, which is the biological measurements for individual fish. We do have a form that just does length frequencies, where we specify the species and the mesh that the data, uh, fish came from. We're using gill nets. And then we could just voice in a bunch of lengths. And this works really well to process uh, large batches of fish where you only want lengths. In our uh, biological measurements um, form here, uh, we, met, we take a lot of measurements from fish. On the left side of the form on a record represents uh, fields that we measure on basically all of our fish. Species, we record the mesh number, which is selected here. We sort our fish on board by mesh sizes, so each box of fish will be um, the same mesh, so we don't have to keep switching it in our form. We collect weight, length, uh, this is our field for sex, and we use the terms boy and girl to specify male or female because it's contrasting and, and uh, there would be less mistakes saying those terms rather than saying male and female in the field. And this is our maturity field. We just say yes, it's mature or no, or we'll say resting for a, a fish that skips spawning, and then there's other categories such as ripe or spent. This is visceral fat index, which goes from zero to four, and then this is our scale or fish ID number that we use in the field to um, sort out our uh, fish samples. We have a notes field for any anomalies or any notations if we're collecting the fish for someone or things like that. And on the right side are less frequently measured fields uh, that uh, not every fish will have data for. Uh, we have check fields for stomach, head, or bags, or if we take a picture, we can voice a command to put a check field. So later on in the database, we'll know that there's a sample or a picture associated with that fish. The A1 through B4 are sea lamprey wounding fields. For the fishes that we deal with, uh, they are parasitized by lampreys. And there's uh, two types of wounds, A and B, and then each have four stages. But most fish don't have wounds, so we put a zero in there because we do observe each fish. And when a fish does have a lamprey wound, we'll voice in a command to navigate to this field and enter how many wounds there are. And FC is for fin clip. Most of our fish are wild fish, so we have a default value of no clip for that. And this is just an aging structure field that has a default value of what we collect from fish. And if we do get a hatchery fish that has a fin clip, we'll voice that fin clip and it'll go over here and update that. And then uh, it also will update this because we also collect scales from hatchery fish and other aging structures. And so let's um, start up Dragon. And this is an older version, version 12, but it's uh, very similar to the newer versions. And you'll want to start Dragon after you have connected your headset to the laptop or tablet. And then we're using Bluetooth. You can actually have it uh, hardwired in by USB or using the um, headphone jack. So the prof each person should have their own profile. Um, um, there's two aspects to that. One is that the profile has their voice pattern that Dragon constantly adapts and learns based on the way they speech. And it'll have their command set. And we create 
profiles for each staff member and also the type of entry form because the commands you program are based on the sequence that the form is set up. So different surveys may have different pieces of information collected and it's just easier to create different forms than to have that one generalized form where you have to basically either tab through the fields or whatever, um, but you could have one generalized form. So I will select my profile uh, for the lake trout survey. That'll open it up. And Dragon operates in the background of whatever main software you're working. Um, and it just provides a piece of software that translate what you're saying into characters. Um, so when you open the profile, um, I have it set up so that the microphone is in standby mode, which is yellow. When this turns green, the microphone is active. And if it's in red, it's completely shut off and no voice command could turn it on. And let me go over the menu items. So there are different modes that Dragon works in. And we basically mostly work in a normal mode. But um, if you are having issues with um, it understanding what you're saying and sorting it out as a command versus uh, regular speech, then you can go right to command mode and there's different modes. But generally we operate, it works fine in normal mode. And I could talk about that later where you would want to restrict it to command mode, basically where it will not recognize anything you say unless it's a program to command. So the, the crux of this is uh, basically being able to program, program commands for our application. The software is typically used in the medical field for dictation, so it's translating speech into text, but we're basically not using that component of it. We're basically having it translate anything that's said as a command, with the exception of numbers, which are measurements, because everything else you collect with fish are actually codes. Um, so we're overriding the vocabulary that's default in the system with the commands we want for our fish species or characterizations of that fish. So the command browser has your suite of commands that you'll program, and I'll show that in a subsequent video. So these are all the commands that I've programmed in. You can see Atlantic is actually the term I use for Atlantic salmon if we were to collect that. A4, A1, A3, these are codes for the lamprey fields. And then adipose left front is for um, adipose left pelvic fin clip. And I'll just, and this is the script um, that, and has all the uh, com, um, code that would uh, enter adipose left front in the form, but I won't get into that in this segment of the video. So now I'm going to demonstrate an entry of a few fish. And so that's basically the floating toolbar, and you'll see the microphone go into different modes, and I'll show you when it goes into complete shutoff after I enter a few fish. And what I'll do is enter our standard measurements and then some of the infrequent measurements for lamprey wounds, and I'll also uh, use a command to print a label, and you'll see that um, the movement through the entry form is very mechanical. It's basically using keystrokes to go left and right and down, and um, it uses some code to switch programs from access to the Rhino Connect software utility to print the label and then come back to access to continue data collection. Wake up. Next. Lean. 5177. Enter. 616. Girl. No. Two. Next. Fat. 6122. Two. Enter. 800. Correction. 800. Zero, zero. Boy. No. One. Advance gonad. Next, Redfin, 5122, enter, 717, boy, 
Yes. Three. Alpha two. Three. Stomach. Stop. So you can see I entered um, data for a few fish, and then I entered uh, some data for less frequently collected fields, and then I also printed a stomach label. You saw that I voiced in 800, which it didn't understand. It was converting it to text. So I created a command called correction, which basically highlights the field, deletes it, and then awaits your next command. So you can create a bunch of commands to do real-time corrections. There are some Windows level default um, commands that Dragon automatically recognizes that you don't have to program, such as up, down, left, right. Uh, those are standard key functions that are programmed. So in uh, subsequent videos, I will show you how to uh, set up a profile and then create uh, commands in a couple of ways and also to import command sets.